Hey, 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 hey. I am Mo, and I am the founder and the person, the woman behind the Confetti Collective. Welcome. If we've never met, girl, hey, girl, hey, where you been? So I want to chat. This is going to be a brief conversation, very brief, um, about two women that a lot of us women that are on this page, whether we have commented or liked or shared or we just lurking, we these two women, we probably have been or are right now inspired or motivated by. And those women are Celine Dion and Oprah. Now, I want to talk about a little bit about what's happening with both of them. And then I'm going to tell you why, what it has to do with you. Because I know you're probably thinking, girl, Mo, I don't care nothing about what Celine and Oprah are doing. But just bear with me, okay? Just stick with me. Two, I read two different articles yesterday related to both of these women and thought to... Uh, have this chat with you all based on what they are doing. So Celine Dion is nearing the end of her residency in Las Vegas. Y'all didn't know she was in a residency? Come out from under that rock, okay? So her residency is ending. She has recently signed to be a global brand ambassador for L'Oreal. And she is just out here just doing the doggone thing, right? And she recently did an interview with people where, she's ta where she is talking about how she has really been on this journey of self-discovery. She is now 51 years old, and she said she her life really restarted at 50. She rediscovered who she was and really started to, to live her life in alignment with that rediscovery. So she's talking about how, yes, she's always been the, been the type of woman to empower and uplift and inspire other women, but she realized that after going through tragedy in her life and, and, and troubles, stuff that we knew about publicly, and I'm sure stuff that nobody else knew about, that she really was forced to, to think about and to examine who she was as a woman, a woman and how she was showing up in the world. So the, the underlying lesson with Celine, her rediscovery is her life rebegan at 50. She is now elevating and, and walking more fully into the possibility and the potential for her life. And she's enjoying every minute of it. Now let's get to Oprah. Oprah also recently did an interview with the Hollywood Reporter where she is talking about her new series that she's, the work that she's doing with uh, Spielberg and Apple TV Plus. She's developing um, content for this new streaming platform. She is no longer with 60 Minutes. I know some of y'all didn't know that. She remembered last year was a big deal because she uh, has talked about she idolized and she grew up watching 60 Minutes and she signed on to be a special correspondent for them. But she stepped away from it because once she got in it, she realized that it wasn't for her. And that's going to be a whole different conversation we're going to talk about in the, in the upcoming Mondays with Mo. So stay tuned about that. But she's walked away from 60 Minutes. Um, she's got the school going. She's got all of these things happening that she's working on, right? And in the interview that I read, the person, the interviewer asked her, what is on her bucket list? And Oprah said one word. She said more. What is on Oprah's bucket list? More. What is Celine's journey of self-discovery? Her life rebegan at 50. So here's the lesson. For you, for me, for us. For those of us that are nowhere near Celine Dion and, and, and can't even fathom Oprah money, right? Here are the lessons because there's lessons in everything. One, it doesn't matter what you have been through. It doesn't matter where you have gotten and what levels you have achieved and, or, or didn't achieve. Your life can always restart. You can always rediscover who you are, whether you just came out of a Las Vegas residency or child, you just barely got your associate's degree. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can always rediscover you as a woman. And once you are, once you have that new revelation, it's now your job to align your life with who that new person, that new woman is. You can always rediscover yourself. That's lesson one. Lesson two, more. <laughs> Lesson two is more. 
I don't care whether you just got married yesterday and, and you think that your life is over or your children just moved out of the house so now you're an empty nester or you may, maybe, maybe, God forbid, you just lost a spouse or a significant other or a relationship just, just ended or you just won the lottery. I don't care. It doesn't matter. There is always room for more. Whether you are Oprah or Mo in a little a little town in Arizona, there is always room for more. It does not matter who you are, what your journey has been, what your life has been like, what struggles and triumphs and challenges and, and obstacles and everything that you have had. It does not matter. It does not matter what mistakes you have made. It does not matter what achievements you have made. It does not matter. You can decide today. I would rather you do it today because today is all we have, right? Don't put it off for tomorrow. You can decide today that you are going to rediscover you as a woman and then you are going to walk your future days out in alignment with who that person is. You can also decide that your existence can be more. You can also decide that what you might think you have the world now, honey, you can, is always room for more. You can, you might, you might have a bajillion dollars. There's always room for more. You might have the lifestyle of your dreams right now. There is always room for more. So you got two choices. You can choose to rediscover yourself, walk that out and live in more, or you can keep doing what you've always done. And always get the same results that you've always gotten. And then realize that it's nobody's fault but yours. You can, right now in this moment, choose how the next moment, what, what the next moment's going to look like. And the moment after that. And the moment after that. And the moment after that. Because if these two women who from our perspective, we think they have everything. There's nothing else. They can rest. The fact that they are not resting, the fact that they are still out here growing, believing, trusting, and evolving as women, that means we can do it too. So choose ye this day <laughs> how you will live the rest of the moments of your life and recognize that whatever choice you make, the, the, uh, the results, the impact of that choice, you only have you to thank or to blame.